Okay, welcome back. This is Lone Wolf, and we are playing Vin Vintage Story on a world that I've created for making tutorials and tests and such. So this episode is going to be about how I adjust the settings in Vintage Story to give me uh, the brightness that you see in my videos. And the reason that this is important is because when you're a content creator like myself, uh, when you record it, the recording software makes the image darker. Then you go and you edit it, and that makes it a little bit darker, typically. And then when you go to upload it to Vintage Story, well, it gets even darker. And so you see videos on there people that have recorded Vintage Story that sometimes they're almost black. And I don't know about you, but I can't watch a black video because I can't see anything. So Tyron, uh, the owner of Vintage Story and his dev team, in a release some time back, added a value to the settings.json file and the thing that they added to that was a value called min brightness. And it was added just for content creators and its default value is 0.0. .0. And we're gonna watch how changing that affects things. There are two more things that I do to affect the brightness of my videos, but neither of those have the effect that min brightness does. So min brightness is not designed to make the video brighter. It's designed to make it less dark. And if those two things sound the same, well, they could be, but they're not. So we'll go through the process of doing this together and I'll show you how it affects things. So first of all, I'm going to go into spectator mode and we're just going to go down and as we come down into a cave this is what the game looks like. Now I don't have any light source on me but you'll see why this is important. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to alter the client settings.json file and change that min brightness setting. All right, so now we're looking at uh, the file manager that I use on my Windows 10 machine. Its name is Altap Salamander. None of this matters to you except this is not Windows Explorer, which is what you would be used to seeing. So, I have the Vintage Story folder open and the Vintage Story data folder open. These are normally found in your C drive uh, under Users, under your username, followed by, made this small because I don't want to show off everything, but uh, so it typically installs to your C drive under the users folder, and then your username. My username is LoneWolfREM. And then app data, roaming, and then this, these two folders are created when you install Vintage Story. So that's uh, what happens by default. But if you want to have multiple versions of Vintage Story installed, you cannot use the default installation for it. And I have many versions of Vintage Story installed, so I don't use this technique. So as I said, I have many versions of Vintage Story installed for various purposes. Uh, I really liked my world that I had on 114, and I plan on moving that to another thing, but if I want to get on there and play, feel a little nostalgic, 
I can do that. And I have more beyond this. I have a folder for mods and folder for releases. But I've got a folder for 120.9, which is the current release. And so this is the Vintage Story folder. This is the Vintage Story data folder. Now what we want to do is edit this file here, clientsettings.json. You can use any text editor and Windows provides one and it goes by the name of Notepad. I like a little bit different editor. I use Notepad++. So let's get this opened in Notepad++. Okay, we have it opened. You see we're in the 129 Vintage Story data folder and we've opened the client settings JSON. I don't know how well that shows up in here is this attribute called min brightness. This is the key to the whole thing. Its default value is 0.0. .0. I have used values from 0 0.3 to 0 0.7. But currently, I'm really super happy with 0 0.6. So we've changed this, and now I'm going to save my edited file and I'm going to restart Vintage Story. You can edit this when Vintage Story is running, but you'll be severely disappointed because as soon as you quit Vintage Story, it's going to restore this right back to the way it was when Vintage Story was started. So don't have Vintage Story open while you're doing this. All right, we haven't moved. We've made one alteration to the game, and that was changing the value of min brightness. So this is what things look like in a cave, even without me having any light source on me. So changing that value doesn't so much affect what the game looks like in the middle of the day, but what it does is it keeps the dark, the, the places that are dark from being as dark. So this doesn't look a whole lot different than it would for you. But when you go into a dark place or when night happens, it restricts how dark the game can be. That's why it says min brightness, not brightness or anything else. It's just tells the game, hey, when things are dark, it can only be this dark. So that is the radical change that comes from changing one value in your client settings.json file. Now, I do some other things. Let's uh, issue a command here. Let's turn the day time to midnight. And you see that the world still gets dark, but it isn't black. And that's again because of making one change. So I also change the settings here. Gamma is something that controls both brightness and contrast. It, it doesn't it doesn't change the brightness specifically it just changes the overall uh, look of the video being produced so I turn this all the way up to 300 and if you can if you look at this you'll see that as you change it so there's default and there's all the way default all the way. I hope you can uh, detect that. So I turn that up too. There's one more thing I do. If we go to settings. No, that's not going to work. All right, I'm going to disconnect from my local server.
And I'm going to click on Mod Manager here. And we can see that I have one mod installed and it's enabled. If that's not checked and that blue tone, the mod won't be in effect. So I have this mod called Accessibility Tweaks. It's created by Apache, Apache Tech Solutions, to be more specific. Let's go back in and see what we do with that. Okay. So we've got Gamma turned up. And we've edited that once. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. And we've got that one value changed in the client settings.json file. Now, long before that existed, the only thing that I could do to make the screen brighter was to use the accessibility tweak mod. You access that in game by pressing the F8 key, like so. There are all kinds of things you can do in here. And I certainly do not use only the screen brightness settings, but before min brightness came along, this was the only way that I could make the game bright enough for me to play. You're not seeing a whole lot of change here, but it does affect things. So I enable it and I slide that to 100%. Sometimes it acts like it doesn't make any difference. Uh, I know sometimes I have to exit the game to be able to notice the difference. Let's give that a try. All right, well, it's not really showing up, but that's the other thing I do. I'm not a young man. My eyes uh, have diminished with age. And I had a very hard time seeing and playing at night or in the caves. Oh, look at that VI right there. And so long before the dev team added that value, it was difficult for me to play, but it was also difficult to make videos that looked how I wanted them to look on YouTube. So the combination of these three ch uh, changes makes a world of difference. And if you're wondering, I'm in spectator mode right now. And that allows you to fly through anything. Um, and the really the only reason I'm doing this is to show you what the world looks like with that min brightness setting. Yeah. Oh, it looks like that's not doing anything, and maybe it's not. But the thing that has changed everything is the min brightness setting located in that client settings.json file found in your vintage story data folder. So that's it. That is how I make my game look the way that I do. I get questions about this in the form of con uh, comments on some of my YouTube videos and I've answered the question but nothing will answer it quite like having a video to watch and pause and see exactly how I do what I do and where things are found etc. So thank you so much for watching this spending your time with me I appreciate it as always please do consider subscribing to my channel Click on that like button, and I want to hear anything you have to say about what we've talked about here on, on any of my videos, so please comment. As always, though, the most important thing, watch my next video, won't you? Thank you so much, and goodbye.